Hey everyone, another episode of Tyrannodon Media's Show and Tell What the Hell, and uh, look what we have here, uh, Storm Collectibles Yushin Thunder Liga, and um, yes, this is a very awesome action figure I've been wanting as soon as it was announced, and he's actually one of my favorite um, Japanese wrestlers of all time, uh, probably it's between him and uh, the great Muta. But uh, Jushin Liger has always been one of my favorites uh, ever since I first started seeing these um, Japanese weird uh, bootleg tapes, wrestling matches in the 90s, and uh, Jushin Liger was coming out, and I was very fond of this guy, and um, always enjoyed his costume. So uh, yeah, and uh, enjoy his theme song too, it's one of the best theme songs ever entrance songs so we're going to open him up and take a look at what he's all about okay and he comes with a whole bunch of hands here look at that there's something about these storm collectible toys they're very interesting to me i've been they've been doing a lot of street fighter uh they did some hulk hogan ones i'm thinking of getting the hulkster and the Ligster. what if Liger and Hogan were merged and it'd be Liger Hulk Liger that'd be a cool character Hulk Liger Super Liger, Chris Jericho that's a lot of plastic here to, wow, now this figure retails for about maybe about 50-60 bucks got mine for maybe about 40 on sale um, and I guess you could remove the head to get the armor off so he has his entrance armor look at that let's take a look at the buck real quick and go over some of the articulation he's got he's got these uh, knee joints that um, will allow you to go all the way back now this is painted on I can see a little bit of a a um, little bit of wear on the paint but that's okay because you know no to no toy is 100% perfect and we all enjoy our flaws and imperfections but he's what I like about the Storm Collectibles is the fists. The fist sculpts are very nice and meaty. Um, he's got this torso, several points of articulation with the torso. Interestingly, his top torso is very uh, vinyl-y, very um, cast in white. So I wonder if it, this was painted over because I worry about it yellowing over time. If not, I'm going to have to go there and paint it myself. Uh, but we shouldn't have to do that. So that worries me a little bit, but that's a fine. He's got double jointed uh, elbow bows and um, Interesting the way they have these particular storm collectible elbows not like your typical Marvel Legends or Mattel or Super 7 Masters figures um, He feels like a model kit almost but it's it's it, this is not just your average wrestling toy right so um, very nice details. He's got a lot of swivel on the boots. You can actually, he's got a joint right here on the foot. So you could get him in every dynamic pose that you'd want him in. Pretty much. Except the one guy who's saying, no, you can't make him do this. You can't. All right, fine. So let's play with him. Okay, let's get him in his uh, entrance gear. Is uh, very sparkly. I worry about that over time because I don't want the sparkles to come off and I want the magic to continue. Great to have, uh, during the time of his retirement, finally we get a really cool Liger toy. I do have another old, just PVC Liger figure lying around somewhere. But, um... Liger Sword! Araiga. And, um... Yeah, you could see... I mean, I'll show you in the back. The box is really nice. It's, it's pretty cool. It just feels... It feels like I got a foreign toy. Oh yeah, get him in that classic Liger pose. Um, so yeah, I mean, to take off the hand if you want, let's do. It. Let's put him in that pose. Let's do that. Look at the hand; joint is like that. So, oops, wrong hand, wrong hand. Oh fuck! Everything's falling. Sorry, folks. Watch your language. He stands about seven inches. Um, to me, he reminds me more of a um, modern Masters of the Universe figure. 
um, very cool figure man oh man just looks beautiful and you could it, there's wire the, the the cape is wired so you can actually pose it you know you could have it like flowing in the wind like that and uh just a very cool figure just to give you an idea of how you know how tall he stands compared to other figures let's put this box away let us get a um let's make a, a dream team right now of let's get Thor here. Let's get Thor. Let's get um let's get my custom box art Mega Man that I made. Box art Mega Man. Uh let's get um da, 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 da. what else do I got here? Uh, the Toxic Avenger. Let's get the Toxic Avenger. Stands about the same scale as these figures. So, if you're a fan of, uh, like, the Masters figures, a 7-inch line, he's going to stand pretty, uh, and some Marvel Legends. He's going to be a good addition. If you're not familiar with the character, I'd see. I'd recommend going to see every single one of his masks, uh, mask, matches. Because I was going to talk about the mask right now. Uh, but yeah, man, just, that's how big he stands. And there's something about the Storm collectible figures that just really, if you took the right kind of camera, the right kind of lighting, this would look like the real deal. Let me put him down, put these guys down, and let's get a close-up of the mask here, just to give you all the details of that as well. What is amazing about the mask is that it's painted in a very metallic color which looks like the actual Liger mask which the material that they would use for these kind of masks and for a second I thought it was actually made of out of, out of that material but uh, let's get him uh, out of his cape and let's, uh, let's play around with some more if you have not been convinced to buy this figure yet. Okay, and we are back with Mr. Liger here. Mr. Yushin Liger. And with different hands and in his uh, typical wrestling outfit. Now what I do hope to see are some more different variants of Liger, uh, which would be nice. It'd be nice to see like the black version, the all white version, and the Chris Jericho Super Liger version. Oops, let me go ahead and... There you go. All right. So, yeah, I mean, just very poseable, very dynamic. I'm really happy to have this as part of my collection. And I guess he could, he's a little bit bigger than your average WWE figure. Uh, but that's okay, because I don't collect too many of those. And I'm happy to have this with my other figures. But, um... Here's a comparison with one of my older Ligers figures. You could even get them in the same pose. Let's do that. Let's have fun with it, right? Oh, I lost the other hand already. I lost one other hand. I'm going to have to find it. Oh, wait, here it is. It fell down. I think Liger should make appearances in comic books and movies. After all, he did start off as an anime, so. I could even get him in this. In the same pose as my old PVC Liger figure. There you go. Somewhat. Just mess around with it. Use your imagination, kids. There you go. Very interesting. I could use this cape for someone else, too. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Okay, I got 2002 He-Man. I say I want to give him the Liger cape. There you go. I can do that too. Fits on other figures. So, anyway, folks, what do you think? Do you like this or what? Would you buy it? I would highly recommend it. Anyway, look at store. Look for you know your your your, you know, your big bad toy stores or your uh, TF sources or. Megalopolis, Dorkside Toys, stuff like that. You'll find it. Just Google it. And uh, yeah, he's... I mean, I probably would have paid a little bit more now that I'm thinking about it. I probably would have paid about 75 If they said this figure was 75 bucks, I would have gotten it. It's just a figure I like so much. We don't get a lot of Liger products out there. Again, the only thing I worry about is the chest being made out of a soft vinyl. A squeezy soft vinyl. And I'm worrying about it yellowing over the years. But anyway, that's all I have for you folks. Feel free to comment below. Let me know what you think, and I do appreciate subscribers. Anyway, take care, be nice to each other, and we'll see you later on.